wise man once said, with great power must also come great responsibility. Well, I've been living with a tuned car for almost a year now. And trust me, I feel a tremendous amount of responsibility with all that power. All good save. Something really changed inside of me when I tuned my car. I'm definitely more mature. I feel like I'm somewhat of a role model in the community now. What's up, my guy? How much horsepower you got? I'm E85, stage one. You wanna run, light to light? Let's do it. One thing is for sure, my wife loves the new power. <laughs> it's not working. I think I'm handling the new responsibility quite well, actually. You're watching Midlife Mods. So about a year ago, I went stage one ECU and stage two TCU with 034 Motorsport. <laughs> and then a little bit later, I upgraded to stage one E85. So I get asked a lot, so how much horsepower is it now? Now that's a good question. According to 034 Motorsport's website, I should have about 486 horsepower just on the stage one E85 tune. I've also installed a cold air intake and a turbo inlet. So I'm wondering if I'm hovering close to 500 horsepower. One of the best ways to find out how much horsepower you're running? Well, it's to bring your car to a dyno shop, like this one, Lang Racing Development. Thanks, Jeff. Take care, now. Hey, my name's Dylan. I'm here for a dyno test. Hi, Dylan. Welcome. Thank you. All right, we'll get you all set up. Thank you so much. We're almost done calibrating the Mustang dyno and we're about to run it and see what the numbers tell us. horsepower run, which is 368, here you had a lower torque number. You can see that in the shape of the graph. Well, this is this one here is your highest torque run, but the power, the horsepower is just a little bit, it's like slightly different, very little difference here. Had the initial torque run before the engine really heat soaked, um, the initial run had a bunch of torque in it, so it could just be the way that the boost came in. So with, with these numbers here, uh, it wouldn't be unreasonable to think that it's close to 500 horsepower uh, at the engine? No, yeah. It's not unreasonable? That's not unreasonable at all. This this Mustang Dyno has a lot of drivetrain loss. Okay. Especially when we put it in all-wheel drive mode. Mustang Dynos are notorious for underrating the horsepower. And this shop owner said this particular dyno is usually around 20% lower than actual numbers. Which checks out considering the peak wheel horsepower came in at 368. What? Let's adjust that a bit based on the fact that it's a Mustang Dyno and the owner says it's calibrated 20% lower. But to be fair, I'll only add 10% more to compensate for the low calibration. That brings us to 404 wheel horsepower. And if we convert that to engine horsepower, that's about 505 horsepower, which is slightly above where 034 Motorsport said it would be after a stage one E85 tune. And even if I only added 5% compensation for the dyno, I'm still close to 500 wheel horsepower. Now the peak torque came in at 466 at the wheels. Yeah, but if I add 10% for the dyno calibration, 
That brings the torque to about 615 pound-foot of torque. This lines up perfectly with the performance claims from 034 Motorsport of 486 horsepower and 601 torque for Stage 1 E85. So that covers the horsepower. But what about other questions related to living with the tune? What about your warranty, bro? Ah! I know, the warranty question, yeah. I get it. Here's what I have to say about the warranty issue. If your car has an issue that can only be diagnosed by plugging it into the OBD reader at the dealership, the one connected to Audi's computer, it will find the tune and alert Audi Basecamp. Then Audi overlords will flag your car and will likely deny any warranty claims related to the engine and possibly other components. Now, not all issues have to be diagnosed by plugging the car into that computer. So, if you're worried about the warranty, get a backup plan or mechanic, or don't tune your car. For me, I wanted to enjoy the most this car had to offer while it was new. Something I didn't realize about the tune, or maybe it's just the car, but even when you start the car in dynamic mode, you still need to cycle away from dynamic mode and then come back to dynamic mode to fully open up the exhaust and I think even the tune. So if you switch back to another drive mode, you lose the burbles, the pops and the bangs from the exhaust. Switch back to dynamic and the pops and bangs return. Another drawback to having a tuned car is now I treat every on-ramp and red light like it's a drag strip, which isn't so good for the gas mileage. Now I'm not trying to say that the tune ruined my miles per gallon because when I drive conservatively, I still get about 23 miles per gallon. But the problem is I don't drive conservatively anymore because of all this horsepower and torque, it's addicting. So my miles per gallon is much worse simply because of my new driving habits. The other thing that I love about this 034 tune is the new mobile app. You can flash the car on the go, which I can see being very convenient if you need to switch back and forth from E85 for any reason. You can also see live performance stats while you're running the car. This is fantastic. Now going back to the warranty discussion, I should probably mention that at the time of making this video, I've been living with the tuned car for about 10 months and haven't had any issues with the engine or the transmission. This includes track days at Willow Springs and Laguna Seca. So far, the tune has been incredibly reliable. Now I'm standing outside of the California Department of Motor Vehicles to talk about another nice thing about this Stage 1 E85 tune. Well, it's that I get to keep my stock catalyst, so I don't have to worry about smog issues with California because the exhaust is completely stock. So enjoying this much horsepower and torque with peace of mind is very nice. Uh, yeah, I gotta go. Besides the obvious fun that comes with increased horsepower and torque of the tune, the car family that you become a part of is also a really great perk. What do I mean by that? Well, there's a big group of car enthusiasts who are willing to help you out with the build, give you advice, uh, go on canyon runs with you, meet you at Cars and Coffee, or join you at car meets like this one. And by the way, thanks to all my subscribers for supporting this channel. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications. Another testament to the quality of this tune is the recent Laguna Seca track day hosted by 034 Motorsport and Turn 8 Racing. 034 invited its customers and prospective customers to a track day at Laguna Seca at which they gave ride-alongs in their Stage 3 development vehicles and then shared the track with their customers. Now in my opinion, that's a tuning company that stands behind its product. And if you want to see highlights of the Laguna Seca track day with 034 Motorsport and see me getting sideways on the track, click the pop-up banner on your screen now. So nearly a year of living with a tuned car, my review is five stars. I definitely recommend the 034 tune to anyone interested in unlocking the full potential of your VW or Audi. So what's next for my S4? I have these Audi red ignition coils, adjustable upper control arms, rear differential mounts, and 55 millimeter studs, and so much more. So the build continues. I wanna thank my family and friends for supporting this project, and I especially wanna thank everybody at 034 Motorsport for making such amazing products for this build. And I wanna thank you for watching Midlife Mods.